Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how we can use our push button input that we looked at in the last video to control something whether it's turning a light on or maybe creating a sound or whatever it might be. We're going to take a look at that in this video here. So as we saw in the last tutorial video we saw how we can use a pull up resistor circuit or pull down resistor circuit to create an input into the Arduino board and specifically when it's a push button it's what we call a digital input so it's either allowing a low signal to go in in other words zero volts or a high signal to go into the Arduino which is five volts now we might want to use that push button state to do something like we mentioned turn on the light for instance and the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on variables and we're going to create a variable we can pick whatever variable name we want but we should pick one that makes sense so i'm going to create one called push button when you create variables let's create variables all in lowercase and make sure there's no spaces in the name we're going to click OK and it actually creates these three things here when it does that now what we want to be able to do is accept the input from the push button and what we're going to do is we're going to use this set push button block here so I'm going to bring this in and then I'm going to go to the input and what I'm going to do is take read digital pin and I'm going to bring that in and where that white zero is I'm going to drop this right inside there and what this does is it tells the Arduino Uno to go look at the input on pin 7 that's where our push button is connected to and basically go read that value and store it into the variable cr we created called push button it's going to do that every time the microcontroller loops through the code it goes and checks the push button state so just like your microwave your microwave is always on it's always waiting for buttons to be pushed it's really in an infinite loop waiting for you to push a button and that's what we're doing here we created this push button over here and it's a system where we're waiting for user input we have to check the push button all the time constantly as fast as we can to check to see what the state is if the state changes then we may want to do something in your car you have a car radio with push buttons to change the channel the same thing all those push buttons are waiting they're waiting for you to change the state and to do some task now this line of code will do that this goes and reads digital pin 7 and it puts it in to the variable called push button then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the math section and we're going to use some of these for the first time I can click and drag this in and what I can do is I can go back to variables and I can take the push button variable and drop it into the left hand side of this math function this is called a comparator and we can actually compare it to things like high and low signals so if I go back into math and I grab high I can put that in on this side and what I can do is I can use any of these comparison operators for instance I can check to see if the push button is in a high state I might want to do something or if the push button is in a low state I may want to do something so that's how we can use variables in Arduino and we can assign values to those variables or we can accept input from a push button and be, have that set to a 
variable and then we can do something with that. We're going to take a look at that in the next video. That's it for this one. Talk to you soon.